Hey guys, this is Point Spice Jamie Lola Tallula, and I am here to do another video for our craft vault collab. So this video or this collab is about using the stuff that you have in your stash for over six months that you either haven't used in six months or that you've never used. So I had done a quilling flower video um, tutorial and then I posted a second one basically to kind of compare and so that led me to pull out my old crafters companion um quilling dies now i have more than this but i pulled these out so i have this set here and then it has a smaller piece i pulled this set and it's smaller piece and then this kind of rose set. So I played with that and then I played earlier in the day with, oh my good, excuse me, my Anna Griffin. So I just thought I would go ahead and show that. So you would have seen these flowers. <laughs> yes, I went a little overboard. <laughs> So I had done a tonic video tutorial, then I did um, an Anna Griffin one. So these were the flowers that I had created for the Anna Griffin video. So that's cool. Now those I had used, but I wanted to compare them to the Crafter's Companion ones. These I had not used. And whoo, oh, a long, 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 long time. So I pulled them out. So here's this one. And I used the smaller one of these multiples to make that one. This one and this one. We can see those. I combined these two. I made two layers like this and then rolled them up so that they have both of these running around mixed together. So you have the long side and the short one mixed together. So cute. Then I used these two to create this one. So you can see the long petals with the smaller ones. And then I used one of their little dewdrop beads and a Nouveau shimmer pin. Then I did this one with two layers of the large set, which is kind of cool. And then I did these two rosies from this one. Blue rosies. I love the rosies. They're so pretty. So very pretty. So, yes, I pulled out those quilling dies to play with. So, I have a whole garden. And then, if you have a garden, you got to have birds, right? Although, I don't believe these are <laughs> garden birds. So, this is something I'd never used, and I've had them for like, ooh, since last year. This is a Flying High Paper and Wood Charisma Pad. And it has the images here. And then of course, it has four die sets. So it has the Peregrine Falcon, the Blue Crown Trogon, I guess, a Western Sandpiper, and a Goldian Finch. So you take those dies and you lay them over the image and then you layer them up. They're the 3D decoupage dies. So I did that. So I didn't really make full projects. I played with my embellishment pieces, I guess you could call them. So they have two versions of the Peregrine Falcon. So you've got a lighter one and then a more vibrant one. And you see where you layer them up. Right, and you have all the extra cut detail. So can you see that? Doo -doo. So you have your Peregrine Falcon. So pretty. Then you have your Sandpiper. <laughs> now I actually made a mistake because one of these layers, this one here, was actually supposed to go over here. And I was like, do do do, not paying attention. 
but it's still cute. So you can see that. So you have the lighter and the darker version. Then you have this gorgeous bird. I don't know. So pretty. I like the colors. So you can see where it's a darker blue and then a lighter one. And they're so pretty. I really like these. And then <coughs> we have this one. So it's really cool. And they're so you know, they're realistic. So it's it's even cooler because they are realistic. So those are the things that I pulled out of my craft vault to play with. And so, yeah, flowers and birds, flowers and birds. All right, thanks guys for watching and I shall see you later. Don't forget to check out the other ladies and don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and play along. Use the hashtag below.